Hi, I'm Arthur Sinio, Director of Product Marketing here at Smart Modular Technologies. And today I'm here to talk about our family of CXL memory expansion products. We have three products. We have a four DIM CXL add-in card. It is a single width card with a maximum density currently of 512 gigabytes. And our future version is we're planning on a two terabyte version. Secondly, we have an eight DIM add-in card that's capable of two terabytes today. It's a dual width card, takes up two PCIe sockets. And the third product we have is a E3.S 2T memory expansion card. It's an EDSFF form factor. We have two versions of that. We have a by eight, which is the more standard version. And we also have a by 16 version, both with maximum densities up to 128 gigabytes. What we're demonstrating here today is a AMD Genoa based GPU server. It's a single socket CPU with eight DIMM sockets as main memory. What we're showing here is an Intel CPU Sapphire Rapids DDR5, eight total DIMM sockets, four on each side, and a four DIMM single width CXL adding card plugged in. What CXL allows you to do is significantly expand performance and reduce cost. So in a single CPU server, you're limited to eight sockets. If you populate eight 64 gig RDIMs, that gives you 512 total gigabytes of main memory. With today's applications, such as memory caching, in-memory databases, and of course, AI, the databases are significantly larger and the processing bandwidth is limited. To increase the performance by using CXL adding cards, you're adding up to, in this case, 256 gigabytes of DDR5 memory using Smart's add-in card, which uses four, has four DIMMs on it. And what this does, it increases your performance from approximately 38 gigabytes per second for main memory, but then when you add CXL attached memory, you're getting up to approximately 63 gigabytes per second which allows you to process these large databases and uh, increase your performance while maintaining a, a single CPU system. In the examples that we're demonstrating today, we are running the MLC applications, Memory Latency Checker from Intel. And there are two parts to it. The first part just measures random bandwidth and latency. The second test is a peak bandwidth injection test, which simulates maximum intensive memory applications. So the example would be if you're running a in-memory database, you're overloading the memory. There's too much data for the CPU and your system will crash. By adding the additional CXL attached memory, you're eliminating that crash while still maintaining maximum CPU utilization, but not maxing out the memory utilization. 